Okay, guys, we're working on the uh, blazer interior <clears throat> for for the rust bucket build. I'm finally getting back on track with that. Uh, so I want to cover some stuff here real quick with you guys when you're doing. We're going to do a backlit gauge dash uh, for this blazer. So <clears throat> countless researching and the easiest way of doing it. And putting methods together and kind of coming up with my own thing. Um, I found, and you guys can check out this channel. Uh, it's uh, Wayne Jr.'s, the RC. He's got a cha channel here. He just did a blazer on, uh, for the USTE. I think he won the People's <laughs> Choice Award uh, or something like that, I'm pretty sure. Um, I kind of took this idea a little bit from him. I did it a little bit different. Uh, using this method, you don't need to worry about having any kind of like power tools of any kind or anything like that. So I'm just going to go over. I, I basically took his sizing method, and I'm going to show you that here in this video. Um, so without further ado here, we'll get on with it. Uh, then this is going to be part one of the blazer backlit interior, uh, the just interior, because we'll all be doing. There's going to be a lot of different steps because I plan on doing a lot of different stuff with this interior if it works out. Uh, and then I'll just be posting them up a little, you know, here there, because uh, that's what I'm focusing on right now um, is the interior stuff with the blazer to get this build back on track. So, uh, <clears throat> with that being said, without further ado. Let's move on with this. Um, to start off with, mine was an R the RTR rust bucket. So, you know, I it comes with your um, decals already, you know, on your dash. So I took my, you can take your hobby knife, you know, be real careful. And you can take a, your, one of your real good pointed blades here. I got a new blade. Don't cut yourself. Safety first. And you're going to want to take your hobby knife and get under your sticker, your decal for your dash. And just work it up a little bit. And kind of put your finger away from the sharp edge of the blade here. And just hold it and give it an easy pull around. And your dash decals will come off without ripping them. And you'll be able to reuse them. Uh, and I think it helps too. This is some kind of weird, smoothish, shiny plastic that's different that they make this interior out of than like the Forerunner and stuff. Because um, this stuff is very easy to actually get through. Um, and I'm going to go over that here in just a second. Also, you can check out Wayne Jr.'s RC. Uh, he's got a great channel too, guys. Um, you know, he's a lot better at this stuff than I am. Uh, when it comes to the scale stuff, uh, check him out. Uh, you know, I just kind of somewhat the way he did it. Um, but anyways, and I'm going to be backlighting mine different than he did. Uh, I'm coming up with my own method of backlighting. So, but anyways, and I'll go over all that with you guys as well. Um, to start off with, once you get your decals off, and if you have an interior that obviously is, you know, it's a kit, you're not going to have to worry about it. So, um, start off with your big, your two big gauges right here. Now, if you just want to drill straight through them, uh, the 1164, he went ahead and figured out the size. I'm sorry, 5 uh, for the big, for the big gauges. You're going to want to go through your dash here. Um, and just easily, I mean, you can see my drill bit still kind of stops. So you don't got to go like, you know, to where it's flopping in there. Um, I didn't drill mine with the drill bits, but I used the five, the, I'm sorry. I used his drill bit size for the sizing to get it uh, pretty close. Cause you want to leave a ledge here to go around the inside of your housing for your, for your decals to stick back down to your dash. Okay. You got to have a little bit of a ledge there somewhere. Uh, and then, you know, to, in order to get your decal to sit down. So, um, but you want the light to also be able to come through. So, uh, what I did with this was, was I just kind of, you know, my way was 
using the drill bit for a size and then using a body reamer, which most people have, um, you know, if you're, I'm sure most people are going to have some kind of body reamer. This one I got is very sharp and seems to work its way through about everything. Um, and I've had it for years. You know, most people start off, if even if you're into the crawlers, you got a Lexan body. These things make quick work of Lexan. So uh, what I did was, was I used my body reamer. And it was, it's easier to, you know, you can start a pilot hole with a smaller drill bit and then step up, obviously. But it's easier with this because you got the sharp tip. You can just push into your plastic and then slowly start working it. This is easier to control to get your alignment where you want on your on any kind of plastic, really. Unless it's something that's stupid hard. But um, you can see where I've already marked the small ones there on the side gauges. So uh, the big ones are already done. I went ahead to make sure it was going to work before I did the video. And then just use his, you know, drill bit sizing. Uh, you know, make sure you're, you know, see, you can see the drill bit goes down and through it. Uh, there's a little bit of resistance there. Um... I'm going to clean that up a little bit more. But just leave that little edge there around. So, uh, and then he, I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, the Like I said, the, the big gauges are 5 16 We don't need that now. and get that out of there. The next size down, he was saying, was, um, I think it's 11 64 Yes, 11 64 for your little gauges off to the side here. So you're going to take... Hold on a second, guys. I got a little bit of skin hanging there from where I was messing with the razor knife. Um, and you're just going to, like I said, you'll want to leave that little edge like I did there. Uh, and just go down through the middle here. I've already got it marked. I'll be doing this with my um, body reamer. And you just go through, and you, I'm just going to use this as my size gauge reference. Because these are at an angle, so you want to be careful. That's what, it, it, a drill can get out of hand with this stuff, so that's why I thought this was a lot easier to be able to control. Plus, if it gets a little out of round, you can kind of push off to one side, side with your body reamer, and a little more safer to go to, to go put your holes in. So then on these Chevrolets, they have a little, and mine is an automatic transmission, because that's kind of what that RC four-wheel drive transmission is modeled after, like a Turbo 350 uh, type deal. So... The Chevys have your little part neutral indicator stuff right here. In order to get that, like he was saying, you just take the very, very small drill bit. Um, give me a second, and I'll tell you exactly what size this is. Uh, it is 1 16th. The small drill bit is a 1 16th here. And you'll just come up here, and you'll right above your, you know, where these are at on these Chevrolets. Uh, they kind of go like this around here. So I'm just going to do like uh, three little holes here to get a little bit of the light to come through. Uh, so it'll light up my part neutral indicator stuff there. So um, I'm not really too worried about like your heater stuff here where your controls are. Uh, I may go ahead and do one here for the radio. Um, and just let the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, let the um, light come through. Um you know, something here, I don't know. You don't have to, but uh, just the main backlit stuff is what I wanted. Um, this will be my first time doing backlit stuff, and I've been researching, researching, you know, a lot of different people's stuff to do. So that's how I'm doing the blazer. I wanted to get back on it. I'm um, having trouble getting the rest of the interior apart because RC Full Drive really laid the glue to some stuff. So I'm going to have to, I don't want to have to buy another interior kit. Uh, you know, I just don't want to spend that money out. Um, and that's what's nice about buying a kit, you know, but I, you can't just buy the, the Rust Bucket Blazer body. So that's why I had to buy the RTR because I specifically wanted the Rust Bucket Blazer body. Um, so that's where we're at with that. I want to get all my interior completely done before I move to my engine bay. Uh, so I want the interior all ready to rock and roll and ready to go. So uh, I'm not going to go too in crazy in depth with this. But researching pictures online, I've got a really good idea how I want to do this. Because um, I found some pretty cool stuff. Uh, the plastic molding in my interior, for some reason, I, it's not real impressive. Uh, it's got some lines in it and stuff that might work out into my favor. So I'm going to try, instead of sanding that out, because it is a rust bucket, I may try to do some creative weathering. 
uh, like a crack dash pad since it's already got, you can see here, a mold line in it. Um, you can actually, it actually catches in your finger. I don't know if you can hear it there. And then it, it's just got some imperfections in it already. So I think I'm just going to run with that, with this, with this. Just be super careful, guys, if you do drill this, because this is super duper gummy, rubbery, weird plastic they made this out of. So, um, you know, I, I don't, not that it's bad or anything, but yeah, it's, it is what it is. Um, so we're going to make this part one uh, of the blazer interior. Uh, like I said, if you want to do a backlit, this is just kind of, you know, I I can't take credit for all this. Uh, like I said, Wayne Jr., uh, I don't know if he watches my channel or not. I think he he's always one of them crawler cult guy stuff or whatever. Um, and he he's helped me out on other stuff on the Blazer, and I much appreciate his, appreciate him and his time. Because, uh, you know, a lot of guys just, you know, super guarded secret shit, so they don't want to help, help you out. They act like it's Mission Impossible, secret squirrel stuff. But, uh... You know, you learn as you go, and a lot of this stuff is how it is. Uh, but this is how I did it using this to be a little safer of a method, guys, so you're not, you know, ripping through this stupid crazy fast or anything. Um, of course, if you've got a, real, a really good variable speed drill, which I don't, uh, you know, I've got a heavy-duty drill for automotive stuff. That's what I have here, and then, you know, I've got my trusty Dremels. But I just thought, you know, I can control this completely with my hand, so... Um, with that being said, I'm going to conclude this part of the video. You guys stay tuned. Like I said, the interior, the interior videos will be coming along with the blazer. Um, I'm going to try to detail it out and get it to look the best that I can. Uh, I hope everybody, like I said, is enjoying the channel. Don't forget, if you like something, like and subscribe. It's much appreciative. And thanks, everybody, for the time watching. Peace.